Hi there, Libra. How are you? Welcome back to Magic Root Work of Love and Prosperity. This is Aunt Roslyn. I hope you're doing well today. It's September 1st. Um, I'm continuing with the Love Triangle readings because I'm finding more and more of my clients um, are wanting these readings, you know, specifically to deal with their third party issue, the other woman, the other man. If you have not met me before, I am shamanically trained. I'm also trained in magic and root work. And I help people to have the life that they want. I help people to have the life that they imagine. Um, you know, sometimes that includes road opening, cleansing, you know, cleansing things and blocks from your past. Um, a lot of things sometimes just need to be cleansed out from old relationships or old trauma that's going on in your life, Libra. So Libra, you know, I'm always personally attached to your readings because I'm a Libra son. And I know how Libras like to make things, you know, good on the outside and be fair all the time. And sometimes it's just not that way. <laughs> so you might be having a lot of different situations going on, Libra, because we had that beautiful, beautiful full moon in Pisces last weekend. So your heart energy may be open and... <laughs> you may be wondering what's in the best and highest good for your love life right now, Libra. So that's what we're going to look into with the love triangle reading. I'm going to look into the current energy of your relationship, Libra. And then we're going to look into how this other woman, the other man, the fifth wheel, the third wheel, how does that all play into it? There's usually is something there, you know, on a soul level that we might have ignored. So how is this going to play out? Spirit in the highest good, spirits in the highest light. Help us with this. So we'll understand. And Libra, if you have not had a chance, you can uh, go and check out www.rootsofearth.net. I have different bath ritual sauce, magic oils, conjured and fixed candles, uh, root work consultations to help you with your magic and the highest good, you know, the way that the ancestors used to do that. Okay, let's get started here, Libra. Okay, well, front and center, well, I don't read re reversals, that just makes it more complicated, but front and center, you've got a lot of arguing going on. Um, it's your energy, Libra, because it's already the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords. So you've got anger, fighting, and energy, and you've got some indecisiveness crossing you, Libra, which is going to prolong, you know, whatever it is wrong, it's going to prolong it. Okay, Nine of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, then we've got the Hangman. Okay, <clears throat> on the bottom of deck, we have the Judgment card. So Libra, it looks like from the Five of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of your energy in this reading, Libra. A lot of Libra, uh, Aquarius, Gemini type energy is the, the energy of the Swords, which is a lot of mental energy and conflict. So Libra, it looks like, just judging from this judgment card being on the bottom, which is dealing with past issues of karma, it looks like possibly you got involved with a fire sign. A king of wands is really representing a male energy usually. Um, it may not be a male in your relationship because we do embody all Libra. But it looks like you got involved with someone who was just really possibly not your level at all Libra because they are running with so much passion and so much sexual energy that they don't understand your need for balance sometimes or you don't understand their need to cheat okay so definitely it seems that from this appearing you know here in the in the position of long standing foundations of your relationship Libra it looks like you're involved with someone who cannot understand you and you don't understand their need to go outside of the relationship, okay? This did not just start. This is pretty solid energy. It seems like it's been going on for a while, Libra, because you're up at night, you're, you're having anxiety and you're worrying. This Nine of Swords is all about the things that you feel you can't do anything about them, Libra. You feel like you're trapped, okay? And that's in your recent past. What's crowning you is this Knight of Pentacles energy. 
This Knight of Pentacles, Libra, I feel like by being in your crowning thoughts, you may be thinking about someone else. This may be your ideal mate that you're thinking of. Possibly you've been thinking about it. You've been daydreaming about what it would be like for you, Libra, to go back to this person or to possibly have a relationship with this actual person. A Knight of Pentacles is going to represent an Earth sign. Okay, it's going to represent an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn that you really feel like you can trust their energy. You feel like you could really settle down with this person, Libra, you know, so it's almost like your own highest self is trying to give you some good advice that possibly this is what you need. Now, that's one way to look at it, Libra, but are you the one who is possibly the one? you know, who could be going outside of the relationship. This King of Wands energy, does this just represent some other part of fire in your chart, Libra? And you're the one who can't stand this anymore. You can't stand the fighting and bickering anymore. You can't stand not making up your mind. So you have decided to step out of this relationship. Because I don't know specifically who's watching or if you're cross-watching, but Libra, this could be you who is uh, stepping outside of the relationship because going forward, we had the hangman and we have this two of swords here. So Libra, this, it really does feel like possibly this relationship needs to end. Okay. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we have the hangman as if you don't know how to go forward or you're afraid to, or if you stay in this hanging position, you don't really have to make a true decision. And this two of swords here crossing you with all this fighting that's going on. Okay. It's crossing you because you need to go ahead and make a decision. So you're not making the decision and it's holding up what could be. Okay. It's holding up what could be good for you or what could be next for you in your life, okay? So this hangman is about being suspended, not really moving and making a choice. The Two of Swords is about not making a choice. However, Libra, you know, you or your partner, if you go ahead and make a decision about this third wheel, this other woman, this other man, uh, this other possible third parties, because actually both of you could be, you know, leaving outside of the relationship and seeing someone. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily just be one of you. But I'm also hearing that it's about jealousy and envy. And this is long standing, you know. Sometimes, yeah, look at this Four of Cups here. This is like you pining away, daydreaming. You're in depression sometimes and apathy. You're not really, you know, you're not really happy, go lucky as you should be. Okay. Definitely, this is involving love. Wow. Okay. The confirmation cards here, this is a message being confirmed to you by Spirit Libra. Okay, this is huge, and I can feel the energy here as I lifted the cards. Beauty. This is the beauty of life that's being neglected. Okay, and then love. Because Spirit wants you to understand this is about your love life, and it's sacred. Look at the heart there. It's sacred. Okay, so we got love, beauty, We've got the confirmation card that this is your message. Okay, so Libra, it looks like <clears throat> what's going to happen here is you're going to need to go ahead and make a decision. And as you make the decision, you're going to manifest some of these changes. It's going to heal some of the things in the past. You're going to be able to get away from some of this depression, being checked out, not enjoying things anymore. Okay. So Libra, you know, if you would like to take part in uh, a special that I'm doing this week only, it's not going to last much longer because I started it about three days ago. Okay. So I'm doing compatibility readings for only $33. They're normally $50. Um, they are listed on the website at www.rootsofearth.net. Also, um, there are other things you can check out there if you're interested. Or you can just shoot me an email, rootsofearth at gmail.com. It's rootsofearth at gmail.com. It's roots with a Z for the email. And you can um, ask me about, um, you know, if you think that this is something that would be good for you. You can talk to me about the type of reading that you would like, okay? I'll talk to you all soon. I hope I was able to give you some clarity and insight on your situation. You have a blessed and beautiful day, Libra. Bye-bye.